This is the key to Nissan's smallest yet efficient pickup, the NP200 refreshed for 2020. And with prices starting at 2.289 million shillings, do you reckon it's the right pickup for your business? We're going to find out later. But first things first, let's check out this particular design theme on this particular car. So this design has been there for quite a while on the front profile. And as you can see for the last decade, it's been standard. But now for 2020, they've enhanced the visual appeal to correspond with the design language that you probably find in the Nissan x in the Nissan Qashqai, in the big boy patrol and many other Nissan vehicles that are available right now on display. So basically the V motif design on the Nissan on the logo corresponds to that new age design by Nissan and of course you can see the plastic cladding of the bumper has been re-engineered just to give this car that genre circle we keep on talking about every single day. Of course you do have rectangular headlights and of course the quadratic grille that complements it and then of course the clear sight. This particular polycarbonate Headlamp also increases visibility at night. Very important if you're traveling at night with the NP200 delivering goods and services from wherever you are. Now, moving over to the side profile, as you can see, again, basic designs been there for 10 years. And of course, this being part of the CMF platform that the Renault Nissan family has, the dimensions are similar to probably what you probably find in a Renault Duster or any other Nissan product that has a CMF platform. It's scalable and it's tough. Now, on the side as well, as you can see, not too much fanciness as well, but you can see the color-coded side mirror and of course the bumper corresponding to each other. That Janet car that Nissan has is now being employed full effectively. And as you can see, the design face, the body panels are flat and of course a bit edged just to give this car that butch look as you can see. And of course the fuel tank on the right hand side. And of course the amazing ground clearance of about 190 millimeters to ensure that you're able to transport your goods and services in any form or way on any road. Now moving over to the back as you can see, design face as well, Nissan has tried to ensure that this particular pickup also is stylish. So as you can see from the headlamps, clear coated headlamps and the tail lamps ensure that this particular car has that uh, modern look. It's been there for 10 years but now enhanced with this modern design of the tail lights. And as you can see, this particular pickup also comes with a, a rubberized bed liner and of course this plastic cladding that corresponds with the side mirror and of course the rear bumper and as you can see here as well plenty of space the v-motive design also comes into play remember this i'm trying to keep this car very corporate have this look on every single model that they have and that is so important but uh, matters different inside join me as i take you through the cabin features and the quality how practical the cabin is of the np200 so step inside this practical cabin of the Nissan NP200 and I can tell you for a fact Nissan have enhanced this particular cabin to be much more practical, much more comfortable and of course give you a value for money proposition as to why the NP200 is the right pickup for you. So step inside and see this particular cabin as you can see from the dashboard perspective yes it's a one piece design and they've actually tried to enhance it giving it some texture just to give that two tone impression and of course what they have done vis-a-vis -vis the previous generation is to reduce the size of the dashboard so that you can create an illusion of space and also in addition to that they have added twin airbags to keep you and your passengers safe while in the NP200 which is very commendable in this day and age we need pickups that actually have dual airbags as standard now Moving over to the center console, as you can see here, let's start with the air vents, aircraft style vents as well, to keep you cool, calm and collected in any given scenario. Let's move over to the radio segment. It's a single DIN aftermarket radio from Pioneer. So of course, you know Pioneer actually is a good radio, so it has CD functionality. You have also USB functionality and an auxiliary cable. If you're a person with an iPhone, you can connect and listen to your music and enjoy the sound courtesy of the two speakers that are standard in this particular vehicle right below it you do have a couple of switches in between you do have the hazard and i'm assuming this is for the higher spec models where you do have auxiliary items like you know the fog lights and things like that so it's right here and right below it you have the ac system the climate control now comes as standard in the mp200 the previous versions didn't have it now as like i mentioned earlier you're able to be cool calm and collected while in the mp200 now, this being a vehicle for practicality space is the name of the game now you have plenty of cubbyholes and spaces in the NP200 as you can see, twin cup holders and of course you can actually have space for your cell phone over there. 
gearbox console as well as you can see standard and you do have actually a 12 volt socket just to complement that so as we move over to the instrument binnacle now it has a white background now this white background creates an illusion of visuality you're able to see all the dials all the information quite easily the steering as well amazing three spoke if you've driven the nissan tida similar type of setup with the steering wheel it is uh, comfortable on the hands it has a bit of grip and it's very very good with the nissan logo emblazoned on it now big boy as you can see is very comfortable the seats are very supportive the main differences between the previous version of the mp200 is the foam the foam hugging seats so they're quite supportive for good lumbar support driving long distance would not be a hassle in this particular mp200 and that is something amazing now i've just said like a third of what the cabin can do it's time to move over to the loading area where our load master mr murigus will give us a lowdown on the type of quality of the loading area the depth what it can carry how much and then head out to the road and find out if the mp200 is indeed the best 800 or one tanner in the business stay tuned coming down to the back of the nissan np200 and i can tell you right now i'm in the business class section because this is the part of the car that deals with getting the stuff done it's the business section of this vehicle and as you can see they've done a very good thing it's actually covered in this very rubberized material just to make sure that number one you don't damage the paintwork and number two it doesn't get any rust or anything just making sure that this stays longer for the business that you're doing so like trevor had mentioned front of the car feels a lot like a normal passenger car it's very easy to drive but over here we have a payload capacity of just about 800 kilograms so that you can carry all the stuff that you need now very many people actually put a canopy at the top here just to cover this place and i've seen this car being used for all sorts of things you're looking at deliveries you're looking at food deliveries i've seen as far as dry cleaning being done in these vehicles so there's a lot of stuff that you can do you can basically turn this into a van if you put a fiberglass cover over here which nissan kenya of course now will let you know where and how much that is in terms of the space that's available over here it's actually very wide and easy to get into with this door and there tie down points all over the, the bottom of the car here and at the top for anything that you need to secure on the roof over here but i think it's time to take this car on the road and see what it has to offer as a driving experience tips on how to clean your engine bay many owners tend to forget the importance of having a clean engine bay dust rust Oil and organic debris tend to block vital components such as sensors, vents, and contact points from working properly. It is therefore imperative that you clean your engine at least twice a month. You do not need to visit your regular car wash, but by following the engine clean tips below, you're able to save a penny or two in the long term. Number one, protect electrical wires and other important components. The first thing that you need to do is to identify key components that are sensitive to moisture and water for example the alternator car alarms sensors exposed filters and the air intake cover these parts with a plastic bag and don't forget to cover the electrical wires if necessary by use of a masking tape to secure them number two brush away loose dirt and debris use a wire brush and scrub the exposed surface of the engine using the wire brush will break away larger debris and smudges from the engine bay Ensure you dispose of leaves and twigs appropriately, but do not be too rough while scrubbing off so that you don't leave scratches. Number three, apply soap or degreaser and let it soak. Pour the soap or degreaser shampoo on all the exposed parts of the engine. Be generous and make sure that you use enough cleaner to remove the dirt. Pay special attention to the part of the engine that you have covered. You don't want the soapy water to pull into the plastic that covers it, and so make sure to avoid these areas. Let it soak for 10 minutes, and these steps are most effective portion of how to clean your car engine. Soaking the surface allows the degreaser to work through the oil smudges before you move to the next step. Scrub off the remaining dirt. Once the soap is thoroughly soaked in, use the nylon brush and this time scrub the surface. Make sure to rub the dirt thoroughly so that the degreaser leaves the remaining grime from the surface. Removing all the dirt will take a few minutes and a good amount of elbow grease so so be patient number four rinse the engine if you are using a pressure washer 
turn it to low setting so as to rinse the engine bay effectively. Alternatively, you may also use a regular garden hose to rinse off the soap or degreaser. Place your thumb over the half opening to create a little pressure to help you remove the cleaner and dirt. Ensure that the water pressure doesn't knock or cover off the plastic cladding before you let the engine dry. Number 5. Dry and crank the engine. Take a soft cloth or towel and soak up any pools of water that may have formed on your plastic covers. If you have a dry air compressor, you may hose down the engine and dry it up completely. Alternatively, switch on the engine to dry up the excess moisture you may have missed. Let the engine run for a few minutes to help evaporate the remaining water. And those are the tips on how to clean your engine. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev used vehicle segment, we look at Kenya's best high performance vehicles. Here are our picks for the top three high performance vehicles available in the used car market. The Mitsubishi Evolution. The Mitsubishi Evolution is a car with a fanatical following in our country due to its performance pedigree. Early models of the Evo were powered by a 4G63 2000cc turbocharged petrol engine with 300 horsepower sending power to all four wheels through a six-speed manual transmission. They also featured Mitsubishi's super active yaw control with a central differential, making them some of the most fun cars to drive on our roads. The current Evo 10 is based on a new chassis and has a new 4B11 2000cc turbocharged engine with 300 horses on top and an optional dual clutch transmission controlling the super active yaw control unit that distributes torque based on the road surface. The market price for this car is about 2 million shillings. Nissan R35 GTR. Moving on to the GTR, Nissan has been building high performance road cars from the 60s, with the Skyline family evolving from the late 80s all the way to the early 2000s. Nissan made the strategic choice of building the GTR as a supercar to compete with European rivals Porsche at half the cost. Locally, one is able to source a used GTR for roughly 4 million shillings. Subaru Impreza STI The Subaru Impreza WRX STI is the perennial rival to the Mitsubishi Evolution. Many of us grew up watching the likes of Colin McRae, Richard Burns and Patrick Giroux driving flat out on the Kajiado Plains during the grand days of the Safari Run. The STI competed in the World Rally Championship just like the Evolution and was powered by an EJ20 horizontally opposed 2000cc turbo engine developing 300 horsepower with power sent to all four wheels by Subaru's legendary symmetrical all-wheel drive system. The WRX is the most accessible performance vehicle for any enthusiast, with prices starting at 1.7 million shillings. This week on Cars with Big Boy Triv maintenance segment, we discuss the importance of major yearly service. Major service is normally done between 15 and 20,000 kilometers. This service involves the checking and replacement of serviceable parts that are critical to the operation of your car. Engine oil. Your old, dirty oil is replaced with clean oil. This makes your engine run smoothly and efficiently. Filters. The oil, air, fuel, and pollen filters are all replaced. This makes your car run more effectively. Spark plugs. Your car's spark plugs are used in the combustion process and are replaced to maximize your vehicle's performance and enhance fuel economy. Brakes. Your brakes are inspected for wear and tear. If they are in good condition, they are cleaned and adjusted accordingly. If they are damaged, they are replaced. Fluids. The transmission, clutch, brake, power steering and cooling fluids are all flushed and replaced. This ensures that the systems utilizing these fluids run perfectly and enhance the efficiency of your car. A battery test is done to confirm that your battery is charging properly and is not leaking battery acid. If the battery acid levels are low, 
Deionized water is used to bring the levels back up to the required position. So guys, today on Cuts with Big Boy Trev, we've just sampled the NP200. We've looked at its style, its practicality and nice time to find out how functional this particular car is. We're going to start with the engine power now. This particular engine that's in this NP200 is a 1.6 litre petrol engine, naturally aspirated with 8 valves per cylinder and it produces 64 kilowatts or 86 horsepower and 128 newton meters of torque. That is sent to the front wheels courtesy of a 5 speed manual transmission, which on full beans gives you very good response. And of course, doing the economy run, this particular car will do 8 liters per 100 kilometers. In loose translation for your business, with the tank being 50 liters, it's able to do 625 kilometers on one full tank. Of course, that depends on the load how you drive and etc but 625 is actually very good because you are able to go to nairobi to mombasa and go towards malindi of course on reserve you can go to nairobi kisumu and back on reserve as well so in terms of fuel efficiency it's right up there it's the perfect vehicle for your business and of course with the rising fuel cost this is the car for your business you're able to do quite a lot with minimal of cost now, let's talk about the hardiness of the chassis. This particular NP200 is based on the CMF platform, which is on the Renault Nissan Alliance. Now, this chassis, you also find it on the Renault Duster. Which you know, it is very hardy. It's very stiff. That means it can carry and have a payload of up to 800 kilograms. And of course, have good ground clearance, about 210 millimeters. So you can carry your stuff, luggage it around quite easily. Front, you do have McPherson struts and at the back you have a H-beam trailing axle with coil springs and a torsion bar to ensure that the rear doesn't bounce off and it's very steady on any given surface and of course you do have high profile tires that allows this car to go on maram stretches so that you're able to deliver your products and services at ease which is very important and in terms of safety the previous generation of this particular car didn't have quite a number of things so what Nissan have done is enhance the offering of the MP200 to include an active, uh, an active safety package. So for example, this car has anti-lock braking system, which is standard now, because pickups need to have ABS to be safe. Now, this prevents the wheels from blocking. During an emergency situation, you're able to swerve the vehicle into safety to avoid hitting an obstacle. But in case all hell breaks loose then, you can rely on the double airbags for the passengers and the driver that protects you and your passenger from harm's way. Up to 60% of crashes are actually um, hindered or prevented by the use of the airbag in conjunction with the safety belt, which is the primary safety component of this particular car. That said, what is more important? Value for money. Would you buy this particular car vis-a-vis -vis what you probably get on a similar panel van from the other brands, we're gonna find out as we do our value for money proposition with Mr. Murigi right here on Cars with Big Boy Trev. So guys, you've seen the refreshed Nissan MP200 now ready for 2020 with better economics, stylish interior, and of course, very efficient. Mr. Murigi, what are your highlights of this particular pickup? Well, this is the spiritual successor to the Datsun 1200, that Kadudu that a lot of people used to use now in small businesses all over the country and I have to say they've done a good job of refreshing this bringing it into the 20th century. I like the fact that the front of the car looks and feels like a saloon car. It's very easy to drive and then business at the back with that big load box and that incredible capacity. Now how much does it cost on the road? Well prices for the Nissan NP200 start at 2.289 million shillings. This of course now includes a special offer with financing that they're running until December we had allow you to pay for this car 39,000 shillings a month. And remember also this comes with a three year 100,000 kilometer warranty whichever comes first. And you can rely on Nissan Kenya's wide network across the country to ensure that you remain on the road with the NP200. But finally, Mr. Mirigi, 
who are the key rivals in this segment? Well, at the moment, there isn't anybody making a pickup in this size, so I'd actually have to go all the way to the small vans that are, again, built for small businesses to do deliveries all over the place. And there I'd have to include, of course, now the Volkswagen Caddy, which we have had on our show before, and the Pujo partner, as well as the Renault Kangoo. Wow, such a wide array to choose from. Do you reckon this particular NP200 Nissan is better than the rivals? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media notes below. And we'll get back to you next week with the feedback. And signing out, this is Big Boy Trev. This is Mirigi. Drive safe and be safe.